Hey guys, and welcome to Depraved. Now, what kind of a game is Depraved? It's like Banished in a Wild West setting. And I played this for the first time on uh, last Sunday's live stream. And, oh my God, I've kind of fallen in love with this game. It, I think it's really, really good. Definitely worth checking out. Let's jump in and play. We're going to play a new game. I'm just going to take the standard settings and we're going to play on this map. If you want to play along, this is the map seed. And this brown line is the railway, which runs across the map. And then this blue line is a river, unsurprisingly. Let's jump in and start playing. Okay, so we start off with the settler wagon. And I'm going to set him off moving in this direction down here. Because the first thing we need to do is pick a site for our first town. And you can have multiple towns on the map. Oh, yeah. And you can trade resources uh, between them. So you can have towns that are dedicated to different things. So you could have a, a town that's like a fishing village or a mining village or a, or a farming colony or like all kinds of things. Let's keep these guys coming down here. We're actually going to start down here now. And I would advise um, for, your, for, your first, for your first colony or your first town, uh, pick an area that's got loads of like lush terrain, right? There are, there are kind of, um, if, I go, I, if I go up here, I'll show you all the different terrain types. So up here, this is desert, right? This is this brown stuff. This is desert. Uh, there are mountains where you've got like mines, like, oh, there's a copper mine, there's a gold mine. And then you've got this, which is like, it's light green on the map, but it's, it's, it's still virtually desert. It's no good for farms. There's very little water. This stuff is much, much better. This is this, this green here, right? And this is, um, it's pretty good for water. Uh, it's pretty good for farms, but the best is this dark green lush stuff. And initially it'll be covered in forest, but don't worry, you can build like farms and all kinds of I'm stuff. Just looking in here and I can see bears. Now this is something that you want to look out for when you build your initial, uh, initial town because bears are aggressive. Uh, bears and wolves. Oh, there's, oh, there's an aggressive wolf. So you need to look out for those when you're placing your town because we're going to have to kill those because they will attack and kill your colonists, which is not a good thing. Right, I'm going to grab them, um, click on this icon and we can place our, uh, our town hall. I'm going to have the town hall just in front of the railway line. So the main street is going to be along here. Let's speed things up to get the settler wagon because the, the settler wagon's got a long way to go. Here it comes. We're going to have the, uh, the main street down here. Now I've been... I've been working on like starting layouts to have kind of a mixture of the most aesthetically pleasing, but also um, efficiency as well. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually like kind of make, make that happen. Now, because we've got some nasty wild animals around, and there's a, there's a fair few of them, right? So the first thing, oh look, here's a guy who's going to go and wander off into the forest. That would be a very bad idea because he's going to go and get himself killed. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him to arm himself with a weapon. Now you start off with, look, down here we've got four Winchesters. So I am going to tell him to arm himself with a Winchester. And I'm going to point him in this direction actually. Come over here. So now everybody else is going to start building this building. Uh, I need to take him off to sleep. Right, he's going to arm himself. I'm going to get in another guy as well. So you go and arm yourself with a Winchester. No, come over here. There we go. And take him off sleep. Now, in order to see who's armed and who isn't, you can click on this and then you can see who's, who's actually armed. So I'm gonna get you, bring you over here. And you are armed, let's bring you over here as well. Right, and then I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna do control one to put them into group one. So now, if, if, um, if I just press one, it'll always select these two guys. So let's get them over here. And they're going to go out and start, start killing bears in the uh, in the woods and wolves and anything else that's nasty around here. So let's go. There's a wolf up there. All we need to do is kind of get close enough to it. And they should start. Sh yeah. In fact, I can click on it. There we go. Yay, we shot the wolf. Now, there are also some bears around here, aren't there? Somewhere. Oh, I see a bear. Attack that bear. Right. They killed the bear. Oh, now they're being attacked. Oh, but they fortunately killed whatever it was. What is it? I think it was a wolf. Was it a wolf? Yeah, it was a wolf. 
Uh, now, pretty sure there was another bear around somewhere. Let's just have a bit of a wander and see if I can see where that other bear went to. That's uh, that's some deer. Uh, oh, that there's look, there's a bear there. Go kill that bear. Oh, there's another bear there. Good lord. There's a lot of aggressive creatures around. Oh, ah, yes, killed him. Good job. All right, that, I think, I think that's cleared out the nasty, aggressive animals in this area. Now, it's random, so yeah, you have to look around for that kind of stuff. Now, let's uh, let's tell these guys to go off sleep, and they'll, they'll go back to the regular duties now. Good. Let's slow this down a bit, because we need to build some stuff. Okay, how are we going to lay out the town? Well, we start off, and the only buildings that you can build are the lumberjack, the sawmill, the outhouse, which um, you need the outhouse, otherwise they start crapping in the streets and you get outbreaks of cholera and things. Uh, we can also build, uh, over here, we can build a bridge and a warehouse. Cool, excellent. Now, we um, we started off with uh, four Winchesters and we've, we've picked up a couple of them. In fact, we've picked up, I think, three. Yes, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, we can actually click here and people will automatically arm themselves if they can. In fact, no, it's just, uh, is it just these two? I think it's just these two. No, no, you're armed as well. Oh yeah, you've got a rifle. So uh, other people will come over here and pick up these, um, these, these Winchesters. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let's get some stuff built, shall we? Now, the first thing I'm gonna put in is uh, a warehouse. Now, I'm gonna put a warehouse next to this building, uh, but I actually wanna line it up, so I'm gonna turn it around this way. And have this now. I want, I want the front of the, the building to be there, but I want to line it up, kind of like that. All right, cool. So now, why am I putting a warehouse in? Warehouse is um, is kind of important because if um, if you want buildings to be like continuously productive, they need somewhere to store their goods because they they've got a little local storage, but that gets filled up. Uh, and if that happens, they stop producing. So you, you definitely want to put in a warehouse. Uh, but you want to be careful what buildings you put in. Because if you look at the bottom of there, it says $5 cost. Right? So we're currently at minus 15. Okay? This is this is our profit and loss. Uh, we're losing 15. Um, it says per hour. <laughs> How it works out, that's per hour. I don't know. Because this game works on months. But it is what it is. It's fine. Um, right. So you, you want to be careful like how many buildings do you, you build because they're all costing you money both to build and they, they cost you like every month. Uh, so how do you, well, how do you get money then? Well, you, you get money primarily from rents. I'm going to turn these off. From rents of people living in houses. So we want to build houses. Well, how do you build houses? Over here in the city, you can see shacks. But in order to build a shack, uh, you need to build a lumberjack and a sawmill. So let's get those built. Let's come over here. I'm going to put in a sawmill. Now, um, I need I need more room. I need more room to build. So if I come over to here, I can actually spend 5,000 and expand our territory. We started with 20,000. I'm going to spend 5,000. And you'll see this will move a little bit. There we go. It's moved from there out to there. So now I can come out here and I'm going to put in a sawmill. Um, now, yeah, I'm actually going to put the lumber mill, the lumberjack in first. I'm going to be pointing that way, I think. And I want this like as close to the edge as I can get it. So, yeah, that's about as close as I can get it. Cool, that's in. Then the, the sawmill's going to be on this side. Now, th this is going to be Main Street coming up and down here. So, that's why I want the sawmill on this side, so that it's part of Main Street. And we'll put you in there I think boom okay awesome we've got a sawmill we've got a lumberjack need to get those built right while those are getting built we uh, we can start to figure out some other stuff now in in here this is where I'm gonna put our railroad station oh a resident from uh, now our town's called Nielsville at the moment no we don't want to call that um, I think well I think we're gonna call this 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 river over here this is Beaver Creek so this is going to, but it's um, it, it's notorious for a, a type of moss that grows along the riverbanks, makes it very slippy. So this is called um, Slippery Beaver Creek. Yeah, do you like that? Yeah, I do. Uh, there we go. Slippery, oh, 
Well, we can't we can't get that much in, so we'll just call it Slippery Beaver. There you go. Welcome to the town of Slippery Beaver. Right, so uh, like I said, we're going to have the uh, the railway station in here. We're going to have a street going up here eventually once we've got these uh, the lumberjack and this built. Hooray! Now, lumberjack. Lumberjack is built. A one worker is automatically assigned, uh, but you change his working area here. You can click on this. Now you notice that he's got a one by his name. I didn't. I didn't spot this for ages. I don't think I would ever have spotted it unless somebody told me. Uh, but can, can you see you've got the numeral one uh, inside the circle, right? Uh, this will be two. This will be three, and the circles are marked with that. Let's get you clearing um, this area over here, probably. Yeah, this area down here. Good, good, good. In fact, in fact, I might move that a little bit further down because I'm going to clear these trees down here as well. So start doing that. Good. Sawmill is almost done. Uh, now, because I'm going to have the railway station here, I want to have a, a bit of a warehouse district. So um, putting this warehouse next to the town hall is a good idea. Because if we order, or if we order stuff, it's brought into the town hall. So, for example, I am going to order because we, we start off with a limited amount of stuff, and I'm going to be doing a lot of building very quickly. I'm going to order some planks, even though we're producing planks now. Uh, I'm going to order some planks. Uh, I'm going to order like 30. So 30 planks, and they're going to cost me 32, um, 32 coins each. Oh no, or 32 dollars each. Uh, and then I'm going to order some stone. I'm going to order 30 stone and I'm going to order 20 metal parts. Those are the three things that you kind of need like right at the beginning to build buildings. So get that stuff coming in. Hooray. Now that stuff is brought in by a trader and the trader has just, he's just been and he's just leaving. But as soon as he disappears off the map, he'll reappear on the map and, and come in again and he will bring our stuff with him. Hooray. In fact, oh, in fact, he dropped it off. It's already, it's already here. You can see 30 stones, 30 wooden planks. Now, because this is right next to the warehouse, uh, they'll move this stuff into the warehouse. So having having this warehouse next to this is, is like very efficient, which is a good thing. There are enough not, not enough labourers in Slippery Beaver. Build more residential buildings to lure more labourers to town. That is very, very good advice. So we're going to start building some houses. And we now can because we've just unlocked the shack. Right, so we're going to put some shacks in. Now, I want a street going up here. And, and since we killed some, some bears up here, we're going to call this Big Bear Street. So we've got Main Street and we've got Big Bear Street. In fact, we'll call it Big Bear Road. Yeah, just, just take a wander up Big Bear Road. Right, so I'm going to put some, some houses in here. And like I said, I want this to be kind of fairly aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to have... Uh, three houses going up here boom 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 and then I'm gonna flip it around this way now uh, if you're thinking oh man you can you can only have this like on a grid no you can rotate it to any angle you want but what I love about this is that if you use the, the middle mouse uh, button then you can you it, it goes back to this alignment all, all the time so if you want to have a gridded city and this one's gonna be a gridded city then, uh, then you can do it, and you can do it pretty easily. Right, I'm going to leave a, a little gap here for a bit of a road. And I do want this to kind of line up. So let's have a gap like that, I think. I think that'll do. And then we'll have another house and another house. There. Cool. Right, so we're starting off with that. Now, it takes a while to get these places built. And I, 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 seriously, I could sit here and watch them doing this, even in slow, but we'll uh, we'll speed it up. And I'll probably, I may edit out some bits because um, it, it, it kind of does take a while to get these places built. And we're going to be building a lot of these shacks. And, and really, before I can do, can I do anything else at this point? Let me see. Um, I have unlocked the hunter. So we could put a we could put a hunter in, uh, but I'm not going to put a hunter in yet because it, you start off with very few people, right? And uh, you really want to keep those people focused on building. Each one of these shacks houses three people. Each person on on playing on normal, like I am, 
uh, each person pays $12 per month. So each building brings you in uh, $36. And you can see that we've now gone from making a loss to making a very, very small profit. And as we get more of these shacks built and occupied, we'll start making some money. So the, the early game strategy is that, that, that I like is to build like lots of houses. Uh, get lots of people in your town so that you, you're getting loads of stuff in. But, of course, if you've got loads of people, you've got to satisfy their needs. Now, what are the needs of our townsfolk? Now, all of our townsfolk are going to be pioneers. Okay, So let's have a look at the needs of pioneers. We look at population levels. You can see they need meat, they need water, they need firewood, and they need clothing. So those are the four things that we have to focus on initially. But there are, there are a few other things that you've got to take into consideration. Uh, like, people need a doctor if they get injured. Um, if, they, if they die, they need an undertaker and a cemetery. Um, what else? What else do they need? Um, they need other stuff as well. So, it's not as simple as just satisfying those, those four needs. But, it's all very cool. It's very, very, very cool. Uh, what am I going to do over here? Am I going to have another three houses in here? Um, oh, now, that's a good point. Um, here, I want a couple of warehouses, don't I? Yeah, I want a couple of warehouses in here. So this shack here, I'm actually going to take that out. You do that by, you don't just click on it, you hold the button down and then it destroys that. So I'm gonna have a couple of warehouses in here. What do I want? Um, no, I want this. This is this is transportation, logistics. It says mining and there is, I don't, is there any mining stuff? In, I don't think there is any mining stuff in here. That should be transportation and logistics. This is the mining tab. This is where you have, you have all your mines. So I don't know why that's called uh, mining. But hey, it is what it is. It's fine. It's all good. We are going to put in a couple of warehouses here because we're going to have the railway station here and we want our stuff like close by. And it kind of makes sense like aesthetically and from an efficiency perspective. So I'm going to put you in... Let me see... Uh, there and oh now ah, I can't put that building there for some reason I don't know what's in the way but there's something in the way there okay well it is what it is now this building I don't want them to build this building because we've already got one warehouse so I'm just going to pause this there we go and that building goes to sleep hooray awesome now we are up to 11 pioneers when we get 12 which should happen like any second now he said hopefully come on give me another pioneer it's going to unlock some build here we go new buildings available and if we look in here look it's just unlocked a whole bunch of buildings right what i want to do i want to have my undertaker um here and i'm going to flip it around the undertaker building um, let me see. Actually, I'm going to put it this way so that I can line these buildings up nicely. I'm going to have my Undertaker in. Uh, let me see. How close can I get here? Right. I'm going to have the Undertaker there. Uh, but I'm going to put him to sleep for now because I want them to focus just on building um, the shacks. And then I want a cemetery. Now, the Undertaker takes the bodies to the cemetery. So having the Undertaker and the cemetery close together, good idea. Right, and I'm going to have the cemetery here. Um, now, I think I'm going to put him like, pretty much there. Let me pause this while I lay this out. So I'm going to have the cemetery there. And am I going to have it there? Yeah, I think I'm going to have it there. Let's see. So then I'm going to have, uh, let's see. I'm going to have a shack there. And then we're going to have another street going up here. So if I flip this around, we'll have another street. Yeah, probably about the same width as that one. About, say, there. Oh, now, um, I do want the doctor in here as well. And I'm thinking, do I make the... Actually, you know, I'm going to change things around a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to change things around a little bit. I'm going to have the doctor there. Because I, I want to make this block a little bit bigger. Because I think it's kind of nice to have, like, decently sized blocks. So, right, doctor's going in there. And again, I'm going to pause the doctor. 
The, the cemetery I'm going to destroy, and I'm going to destroy that shack there. Go. Takes a couple of seconds for them to go away. Right, pause it again. Then I'm going to throw in. I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have another shack there. And this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a very, very posh one because it's looking out onto the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very much in demand. Uh, then I could put this here, right, which makes this even closer to the Undertaker, which is even better. Uh, let's move you a little bit closer to the tracks. Right, so we'll put that in there. Oh, see, yeah, that lines up much better. Lines up much better. Then I want, um, that is a shack, isn't it? Yes. Then I want this shack to go in. Uh, I want this to line up with that if possible. Let's move you out just a fraction. Right, so but we'll have a street going up here. So this is going to be flipped around and put in. See, how did I, why did I make that? So it would be about there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, so that house goes in there, and then we'll have another house, uh, or shack, I should say, there. Flip you around, we'll have a shack there. And then what I'm gonna do is have a shack there, and there, to create another kind of little, little mini street coming down here. So, well, we want shack there. Now, I'm kind of tempted to put these shacks across there because this is gonna, this, there's going to be a street going across here as well. But I don't know. No, I think I'll, I think I'll keep them lined up this way. So, we'll have shack there and shack there. Right. At this cemetery, I want that uh, on sleep. These are all shacks. Those two are on sleep. Right. We can crack on with this now. Go. Awesome source. Now, this is going to mean I've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 shacks, which is quite a lot. And it's going to cost me a lot. And I, I've got enough stone. You start off with enough stone to build, like, the, the lumberjack and the sawmill and have enough to build, like, four shacks. I'm building 16. I bought enough stone to build another 12. So I need enough stone to build another two. So I'm gonna to go to the town hall and I'm gonna say, get me another, uh, well, I want six. So I'm gonna ask for 16. You need three stone for each one of those. So we'll have an extra 10 spare just in case. This, by the way, this is where you buy another settler wagon to, um, to have another town, right? And it only costs like two and a half thousand. It's really cheap. And you can just get another town going. It's really cool. All right, so our town is starting to take shape. And if you look at the money, look, look, the money is starting to roll in. Now, we've also got like quite a lot of people who are not really doing much. We've got 13 laborers. Now, at the moment, there's the, well, the, the, there's a fair amount to do at the moment because they can go out and, uh, and build these places. Um, but there's probably more building work to do than there is laboring work, or there will be. So what you can do, if you want to, is uh, like, like pick somebody who's a laborer, or you can go into this screen. This is the, this is the city overview. You can go into the, the residence, and it tells you what, what, like, what their jobs are. So we've got a couple of builders, carpenter, and then a bunch of laborers. Um, you can pick somebody and say, right, I want you to be, uh, a builder instead and it's only laborers and builders that you do like this everybody else you do in the in the actual buildings they work in but we could turn you into a builder and that means that we'll we'll get the buildings built a little bit faster assuming that we've got enough laborers and you can see that we're, we're still going up all the time in terms of people so we'll have plenty of laborers all right cool now you can also prioritize so for example we could say you know prioritize this building and You've got like four priorities, so you've got like no priority, and then priority one, two, and three. So let's get um, let's get these two done first. Get those two built. Awesome sauce. Alrighty, things are going well. Now uh, we're over fifteen, so we could put in the railway station. Now the way you put in railway stations is you just line them up with a bit of track, and then you can put them in. Now we want this. Uh, we want the 
this to be the corner of the street here. So we'd want this to be uh, as close to that as possible. So probably there. Boom. I'm going to place that, but I'm going to put it on sleep because I don't want that built at the moment. Awesome. So we've got warehouse there. We're going to have another couple of shacks there and another warehouse going on there as well. Uh, I could put that. I could put that other warehouse. Oh, I can put it in now. I couldn't put it in before. There must have been. I don't know. There must have been like something there, dead animal, or there's something in the way. But we could put a warehouse in there like that, and put that to sleep so that I remember that it's supposed to be there. Now warehouses can be upgraded, uh, and they cost in terms of uh, like what you need to to upgrade them exactly the same as a regular warehouse, right? So. You can either have an extra warehouse or upgrade this. Costs exactly the same. Uh, you only get nine slots in a standard warehouse. If you upgrade it, it doubles it. So you get 18 slots. So I'm actually thinking that maybe I'll upgrade this. Am I going to upgrade this? 15 and 2. I've got I've certainly got enough planks. And I could do with the extra room. So yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade it. Now while you upgrade it, you can't, you can't see what's in it. But it doesn't take too long to upgrade, uh, especially if you up the priority and get it done quick. All right, right. What else do we need, and can we build? Right. Let's start addressing their needs, shall we? Right. First one, water. We have now unlocked the well, and the well I am going to put over here. Now, there's a very good reason for putting the well over here, and I'm actually going to put it that way around for purely aesthetic reasons. Now I'm going to put it here. Now you'll see the amount of water is excellent, 699. That's actually the max. If if we if we had built our city like purely on this, it look at this, like 16, 60. 60 is the best you'll get on this kind of land. Uh, if you go to the 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 next one up, which is kind of uh, this stuff, yeah, it's still as bad. This desert is 16. This is 16 or 60. This stuff is much better. You can actually get to excellent, but it's not all excellent. It's either good or excellent. Uh, in the forest, it's all excellent. It's all the max, which is 699. Right, so where's where's the town? Here's the town. Right, so we are going to put this over here outside the barn where it happens to be excellent. But also, you can store water in the barn. In fact, they are storing water in the barn. Right? So what will happen is once this gets built, they'll actually continuously um, produce water and put it into the barn and they're right by it. So it'll be nice and efficient. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Now look at this. We've got, we've got all of our shacks built now and we are bringing in $360 a, I'm going to say month, right? So it's, 300, it's not a month, but because we're on month four. I don't know, maybe it is a month. It's certainly not an hour. An hour is oh, now pause for a second because bandits have settled down close to Slippery Beaver. Now, how many how many are out there? We've got one, two, three, four, five guys out there. Now, this is a real opportunity because they've got guns, they've got horses, and we can steal them. Now they're down they're down here. So we need to form a posse and go kill the bandits. Oh yeah, but uh, I want to steal their horses, so I'm going to need a stable. So let's go to city, and that's the hotel. Here, here's the stable. Now I'm going to put the stable where? Where, where, where? I might just put the stable. The thing is, I want the stable pretty central. So I think I'm going to put the, cent the, the stable like opposite the town hall. Now, um... Judging the width of the main street is, I, I think, is kind of like, for me, the most difficult thing. Because it's like, I want it wide enough so that it, it looks like a proper main street. But I want it, I don't want to waste too much space. So I'm thinking probably about that distance looks about right for a western town, don't you think? Something like that. So, stable goes in, and I'm going to prioritise that now. Get that built, guys. But of course, that, that stable, we can crank this up a little bit now, that stable is going to cost me, what does it cost? Uh, it costs 10 a month. So we're, make, we're making 380 now, 
but once that gets built, we'll be making 370. And this is what you need to be careful of about adding extra buildings, right? Because it's very easy to get to the point where you're making very little or, or, or actually losing money because you've put too many buildings in that they don't really, really need. Now, you may be going, oh, you've got no food. Oh my God, you're like, it's, everybody's gonna start dying and stuff. Oh, we've got a gunslinger. I missed the message. A gunslinger has come to town. Now, we can hire this guy. Now, they cost money, but I think they're worth it because they're, they're pretty good at uh, killing things. And you can use them to protect areas of your town. So, for example, I could tell this guy, uh, I could create a working area and say, I want you to, like, protect our supplies over here. And then if I, like, send him over there, now, now he'll patrol this area which is very cool. But we're also gonna use him to, uh, to go and kill these bandits. Right, how are we gonna kill the bandits? Well, we're gonna need some guns. So I am going to order, let's see. Um, there's, uh, there's five or six bandits out there. We've got four weapons. The gunslinger's got a weapon. So I think I'm gonna order probably like another five Winchesters. Now Winchesters are expensive, they're like 500, but we can afford it and it's gonna pay like real dividends. So I'm gonna say, bring me five Winchesters, please. So as soon as those, um, as soon as those, we get those Winchesters. Oh, now, now, oh, the stable's not quite built. Once the stable is built, people riding into, some people have been arriving on town on horses and they just tie them up in front of the, in front of me. Oh, here we come. He arrives, and look, now we've got our five Winchesters. Hooray! So, some people will go and grab those. Uh, Gunslinger, I want you over here. And then I'm going to get all the people who get weapons and bring them over here to form a little bit, little bit of a posse. And we want you, because you're armed, and you, standing up against the wall, not doing anything. And you... You come over here, and you're not doing anything, so you can join the posse. And, oh, let's pause this. You, get over there. Okay, you've just dropped a plank, good. You can come over here. Now we've got you, we're gonna let you put your plank down, and come over here, and come over here. Right. So now I'm going to select all of these people and I'm going to do control one. So I've got all the people who are armed on my one button. Right, let's bring them over to the bandit camp. So over you come. I'm going to, I'm going to bring them over here. Uh, actually, let's bring them over this side, I think. It's a better, better side to attack from. Right, now I'm going to slow it down. Oh, the Bolton gang, they're not pleased that we've entered their territory. Kill these guys. Now, some of our guys are going to get injured and get shot. Come on, kill this guy. Yeah, yep, yeah, good job. Now shoot him. Come on. Get in here, boys. Yeah, some of our people definitely got... Now, these guys, can you see the little handcuffs? These guys have surrendered. There's another guy over here. Uh, let's get our guys together and then shoot him. Now, it'd be much better if... Oh, yes, they killed him dead. Ha, ha, ha. Awesome sauce. Right. Now, these um, these poor people who've been injured are going to need a doctor, and they're going to need a doctor pretty darn quick. So, let's go over here, and I'm going to unpause our doctor and get that built. Right. So, hopefully our guys will get onto that. Oh, there was one that I missed. Okay. Never mind. doesn't matter. Now, uh, the people that died will be, will be replaced. More people will come to town. Not, not something to worry about. Uh, but any of these horses where we've killed the owner become, uh, become basically free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select anybody that's injured. Yeah, you're injured, you see. Right, get on a horse. You're going to mount that horse. And uh, let's see, is anybody else injured? No, we did have a few people killed though. Oh, you know what? We ran into some blooming wolves. <laughs> oh, that's what didn't help. Oh man, okay, that's not good. All right, you, come over and let's see, you can grab that horse, and Lola, 
Uh, that one's owned. You can grab that horse there. And let's see, Clement. Oh, now what are you what are you doing out here? Oh, he hasn't got a weapon. So I think he's coming out here and he's just grabbed the weapon. Good job, well done, smart guy. Right, now these people who've, uh, who've got horses, let's say, oh, that's another one, you can grab that one. Oh no, you're grabbing that one, aren't you? Yeah, so he mounts up on that horse. I'll now take him off uh, off snooze so he can go and do his own thing. And he, what he should do is he should ride to the doctor. The thing is, he'll probably ride to the doctor relatively slowly, or you, well, get on that horse. Uh, so the thing to do is if you double click, they'll move, they'll move faster. So I'm going to right, double click over here and you'll see that he will now gallop on his horse very quick. Now injured people walk very, very slowly. Uh, you can see his health bar up here. He's actually got a fair amount of health, so it's, it's not like, it's not too bad. He's not in too much danger. And he will ride. Now I'm going to say, oh, it's not, it's not ready yet. So I'm going to just get him to wait there. Is the stable built? Oh, no, the stable isn't built yet. I'm going to, uh, what are you? You're a labourer. No, you're not. Now you're a builder. And hopefully, he'll actually come over and let me get this built. Are we waiting on anything? Are we waiting on some stone? You know what? I need to order a bit more stone. Let's get a little bit more stone ordered. What do I want? Uh, let's order like, um, say, oh, what? 20 stone or something? Yeah, let's order 20 stone. There we go. 20 stone coming in. Now, food, right? I am going to get a hunter set up, but don't worry about food too much in the early part of the game because you can just order it, right? And because we're making, so look, we're making f over $400. We can afford to order food. So I am going to order some meat and I'm going to order like, I don't know, like, let's order like 30 meat. Now, meat is quite expensive, right? It's $48 each. Right, but it lasts for quite a while. Now, your people don't starve to death. Right, what happens is, if they get hungry, then um, their mood will start to drop. Right, and when they get into the red, they become homicidal. Seriously, violence breaks out. So you do have to, uh, you do have to keep them uh, like satisfied. But it's not like banished, where like they run out of food and everybody drops dead. So, now you stay come over here i want you to stay over here by the doctors let's prioritize this and let's crank it up because we need that stone to arrive oh the bolton gang we're not pleased that you've entered our land okay now we go over here again um we've got you on a horse let's move you over there and you're on a horse i'm gonna move you over there go and you you gallop over there now, we've got, what will happen is, these bandit camps spawn bandits every now and then. We've got bandits, bandit, it's just spawned, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my people and say, kill him. Oh, and they've killed him dead. Now, what that will give us is um, yet another Winchester rifle. So that's the equivalent of like 500, $500. And another horse. Yeah, there's another horse and another horse and another horse. Now, the, the other two guys that surrendered Right, eventually bled out and died. So we get all of their stuff. So we can say, you go grab that horse and you go grab that horse. Awesome sauce. And then we can go back into town and I'm gonna grab like a whole bunch of people who are not armed, right? And I'm gonna tell them to come out here to the bandit camp. Now, this is one part of the game, which, oh, there's a wolf over there. You know what, guys? Uh, oh, there's a bloomer wolf there as well. Now, come come straight out here. Oh, I think people are going to get attacked by a bloomer wolf. Yeah, look, residents being attacked. Come over here, guys, quick. Uh, let's get my cavalry. Now, where the hell's that wolf? Oh, there's somebody over there being attacked. Where, where the hell is that wolf? Ah, he's there. Yes, they've shot him. Right, you, you better go back to town. Uh, in fact, I want you to go there. And you, I'll let you drop that bit of meat off and then you come over here as well because you need to go to the doctors. And the doctors is getting built. We got the stone, good. We need one, no, we need four more stone. 
it'll get there. We're a bit short on labourers at the moment because I've nicked everybody. But this is kind of important because this will get everybody armed, which is really good news. Right. Uh, so we can now get these people. Now they will come out and get weapons um, sometimes, uh, but it's kind of unreliable. You're better off to to actually tell them to come and get weapons. Uh, you take that. Uh, select weapon. Arm yourself with a Winchester. You know, I'm going to tell you. What, will you arm yourself with a Winchester? See. You're going to go and get yourself a Winchester? or you... I think he's just going to stand around and not do anything. Because they have a tendency to do that. Let's have a look. Are you going to... Yeah, he's going to stand there and not do anything. Uh, go get that Winchester. There we go. And you... There's all kinds of weapons lying around here. Which is sometimes a little bit difficult to see. But there's a couple of Winchesters over there. Uh, that one's already been got by someone. Uh, you grab that one. Take you off pause. Uh, yeah, take you off pause. You can go. Come on, go and get that. Yes, good. We got any more weapons around? Oh, there's some Colt pistols down here. Here, madam, go and grab yourself a Colt. And you, there's another Colt right there. Go grab that. Any more weapons are around? Now, you're going back to camp. Rather than go back to camp, come and mount on this horse. These two, I'm going to tell them to be unslept. Oh, now why have you got off your horse? Why have you got off your, get back on that horse? And then you can ride back to town. Go on. Uh, yes, no, what? Now, seriously, why are you getting, okay, well, they don't want to ride for some reason. Uh, let's see, have we got any more? There's gotta be more weapons than that around. I'm not seeing them at the moment. Let's unpause you so you can ride back. Go on. Get out. Get out of there. Say, so why have you got off that horse? Oh, hang on a second. Is, have we... Have, we haven't run out of space, have we? Oh, no, because we haven't got stables at the moment. That's why. We need to get this stables built. Uh, how much stone have we got? We've got two stone. We have got the doctors built now. Hooray. Which means, like, you... Go, go to the doctors. Good. So we just need some people to actually build this. We need two more stone. There's two more stone in there. You know what? Let's speed. Let's speed this up. Now you you've ridden your horse back to town. I don't know why these other people aren't uh, aren't riding their horses back to town. They've just been. I think they've just been awkward. Right. You. Uh, let's see. You. I think I'm going to keep you out. Oh. Ah, no. Now see. I've got uh, got another bandit here. Right, guys, kill him. Oh, good job. Right, you can go over there now. Now, you, madam, come and get whatever. Oh, he's got a Winchester. Come and grab that Winchester. So she'll come, pick up the gun. Then I'm going to say, mount this horse. Now, hopefully, are you going to ride it back? Yes, you see, you're going to ride that back. Good, excellent. Uh, we've got two more people out here. Any more? The, the cults are really difficult to see. But I'm sure that... Oh, hang on. Oh, there's, a, there's a cult there. Grab that cult. Uh, where are you going? Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes they just kind of ignore you. I think it's because they've already got a job queued. He will... Yeah, he's going home to rest. He will come back and get it eventually. Oh, a resident has died. He didn't make it to the doctors in time, obviously. So, we need the Undertaker now. So let's get the Undertaker going. Let's uh, take you off pause. We'll get the Undertaker going. And we'll get the cemetery going. Awesome source. All right, and you can see now we've got loads of people who are armed. Now this is gonna really help us out. Uh, we got another, there is, there's a cult there. Oh, you, um, can you grab that one? Or is that, that's already, yeah, it's already being transported by someone. Uh, are there any more weapons in the... Ah, oh, there's another Winchester there. Oh, look, he's come to get it now. Good. Right, you go get that Winchester. Uh, you, come over here. Run. Run over here. Uh, get on that horse. Right, take it back to town. Go on. Yeah, giddy up. They are slackers. They won't do what you want them, what you want them to do. 
Right, go over there. Good. Is this is this built yet? Yes. Now we've got room for twenty horses. Look, he's going to take the horse into the stable, and that's now our horse. Now other people, because these horses all belong to people who rode them into town when they arrived, and they will start taking these horses into the stables. Right now, if you want, you can sell each horse for $25, but I'm going to show you a way in the next episode where you can get a lot more money than that for your horses. Oh yeah, we're going to, this is going to be a massive money maker for us. We've got another horse here. How many people have I got mounted over here? We've got uh, three, one, two, three. All right, we need to bring another person out to get the other horse. Oh, there's another person bringing a horse in. You'll do. Come out here. I think you're a lumberjack. I should have picked somebody else. Really. I should have picked a labourer who was standing around doing nothing. But let's get you to run out here. Yeah, come on. Run, run, run. And then mount this horse. And then let's have you gallop back to town. Right, let's send you back to there. And then I'll tell you, go off sleepy time so that you can do your own thing. And he takes the horse into the barn. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. And now you can get back to being it. Yeah, he's a lumberjack. All right, sweet. So, as you can see, farming the bandits. Oh, well, we've got another bandit. So I can grab my guys, tell them, shoot the bandit. Oh, we've got somebody injured. Uh, he's surrendered now. Now we're just going to have to wait for him to bleed out. But that is another rifle. And when he's died, another horse that we can have. Awesome. Uh, you, see, he's riding back very slowly. Uh, he's now to 17 health. But you can double click and he'll gallop. Enter the doctors. Now what he'll do is he'll park his horse around here and then he'll wander into, or, or she, sorry, sorry madam, sorry, but from behind. Um, she'll now limp into the building and then within a few seconds, she'll suddenly go, boom, back to full health. He said, hopefully it takes a few seconds, but then suddenly she'll be go, boom. Come on, just take a little bit of time. Come on, heal up, heal up, damn it. God, I don't think this doctor's very good. Oh, look, our health is going down and down. Where is the doctor? You know what? It's like, where is the doctor? Uh, that's not, I didn't want to do that, actually. I wanted to click on follow. Oops. Oh, that's why, because I've got, that's why people have been dying, because I've had the doctor here. Uh, let's free up the doctor. Uh, mount your horse again. Come here. Mount your horse. Because I, I told you to get off his horse. Right. Come on, gallop over here. He doesn't want to move. Oh, here we go. Now we've, now he's galloping. Now, oh, somebody was murdered. That's the person. <laughs> That's the person who was going to try to get help. Oh, man. Well, the doctor is back. What I can do is if I unpause him. Where are you going to go? Oh, he's going to go and get some water, I think. Yes, he's gone and got some water. And if we look in this building, you can see we've got... Like we've got 50 water and then we're now starting a new stack. Right, he's parked his horse. Excellent. Now the doctor is actually going back in. That is something that I should have probably paid a little bit more attention to. Oh, now nobody owns this horse. So what I should do is grab one of these idle people, tell them to mount that horse, and then they'll take it into the stables. Does anybody? Ah, uh, that one is not owned. Yeah, let's get you. Mount that horse and take that into the stables. And the same with you. Mount that horse, take it to the stables. If you leave horses... Uh, like just not owned by anybody just standing about they um, the horses will eventually die of, uh, of hunger and thirst but we've got now got like 13 horses and if we wanted to get some more cash coming in we could actually use that but look at this we're up to 14 almost 15,000 and we've got lots of people's armed and we could just farm this bandit camp but let's see you're you're a carpenter you know what I'm gonna free you up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some labourers and just take some labourers out here and continue to farm this. Right, that's it for this first episode. Oh, there's another. Oh, he's he's died, that guy. There's another rifle, another horse we can get. Oh, and a bear we can kill. Let's leave it there for this episode. But that is an absolutely fantastic start to our town. Making loads of money, loads of guns, loads of horses. It's all going very well. Guys, I hope you want to come back for the next episode. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll catch you for that. Peace out. <laughs>